Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on connecting to your data in an RDL report. Each report consists of two main elements. The first is the data definition. The data definition is categorized into two parts, the data source and the data set. They control where the information for the report will originate and what information is chosen from that data. The second is the report design. It controls how the data will be presented as a report. All this information is stored as a file using the report definition language RDL. One of the steps we need to take before designing a report is connecting to data. You can manage your data in reports without writing a single line of code using bold reports. From this video you will learn what a data source is, how to create an embedded data source, what a data set is, and how to create an embedded data set. So, what do data sources and data sets do in a report? Let me explain them one at a time. First, I will discuss data sources. Usually, we maintain and organize our data in a database. To connect and fetch such data into your report, we need to create a data source. A data source is nothing but a connection setting that the report uses to connect to the database. The connection setting includes the data source type, connection information, and the type of credentials to use. The initial step in the data source creation process is choosing whether an embedded or shared data source will be used. An embedded data source is created in a report and used only by that report. If you create an embedded data source, the connection setting will be saved as part of the report definition. On the other hand, a shared data source is one that is created on the report server and used by multiple reports. They are useful when we have a data source that we use often. In this video, I will walk you through the creation of an embedded data source. To showcase the demo, I am going to use the Bold Reports Enterprise Server demo site. I have shared the demo site link in this video's description box. This is the Enterprise Server's homepage. Let's start creating an embedded data source. As I said earlier, an embedded data source is created in a report and used only by that report. So we can create a new report and define a data source. To create a new report, I click the add icon on the navigation bar and choose start from scratch. Enter the name of the report and click add and design. Now you will be redirected to the report designer user interface with a blank report. To create a new data source, I open the data pane from the navigation panel at the right. Then open the kebab menu at the top right corner and switch to data sources view. Now, click the new data source button. The list of supported data sources will be displayed. You can connect with any of these data connectors. For this demo, I will go with SQL. I provide the data source name AdventureWorks. Then I enter my server name, in which the databases are stored. You can explore and connect to your data from any of the local or server databases. Next is authentication type. Choose the authentication type to use for authenticating the server's connection to the server database. Here I choose SQL Server. Then enter the username and password of the server. Enable the Save My Password option to establish a connection every time to the corresponding data source. Now, the databases available in the server will be listed in the database field. Let me choose the AdventureWorks database. You can also provide these connection details directly as a connection string in the Advanced options. I switch back to Basic Options and click the Save button. We have established a connection to a database, and there may be hundreds of tables in it. But, probably we want data from just a few tables. In this situation, you need data sets. A data set is simply a query on a data source, to get just the records you need for a report. Like with a data source, we can create a data set as embedded or shared. An embedded data set is created in a report and used only by that report. The query is stored in the report as part of the data definition. A shared data set is created on the report server and can be used by multiple reports. Now I will walk you through the creation of an embedded data set. 
To create an embedded data set we must have a data source. In this report, we have already created a data source. Open the kebab menu in the top right corner, and switch to data view. Click on new data. In the data sources pane, I can choose an existing data source or create a new one. I choose an existing data source and connect to it. This will take you to the query designer. It contains a schema area. Query designer surface. Toolbar. And preview area. The query designer surface is where you set up queries. It contains both graphical and text-based modes to create SQL queries easily. The data set name can be modified here, and I change it to sales. The schema area contains tables views and procedures in the connected database. I drag a table from the schema area to the design surface. Click the run icon to generate a preview. Now the table data is previewed in the preview area. If you want to customize the SQL query manually, switch to the text-based mode and modify the queries. I switch back to Graphical Designer and click the Finish button to save the data set. The data set will be listed under the data pane. Expand this icon to see the fields in the data set. You can use this data to build a report with simple drag and drop widgets. In this video, we learned how to connect your data to an RDL report with bold reports. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.